What is going on my peeps and more versatile is back with another video back to talk to you about talk to you about this right here microphone right here and I'm trying stuff out right now so <laughs> bear with me this is the five find technology mini gooseneck microphone and you use it of course via USB so it is kind of tricky to use this with like a camera or something unless your camera has a straight USB jack of course my Sony a7 III does not so using a camera <clears throat> for this mic it's gonna be kind of tough and I noticed that right off the bat using my little USB-C adapter to USB-C uh, type A if you will doesn't work quite well uh, it doesn't work at all matter of fact so I'm gonna give you the audio is of course using my phone or recording it off here to give you guys the actual audio samples now when I used my phone initially, just plugging this in straight to my phone, it was immediately overload in terms of the amount of volume coming into the to this mic here. So, following the directions, what they tell you to do is jump on the computer and basically dial in the settings. So once you plug it in the computer, give it about 30 seconds, even though it doesn't necessarily pop up anything, it is going to show you or, or basically it tells you the directions to give it a few moments allow the drivers to install themselves and then immediately click into sound and all that type of stuff to actually configure the mic so that's what we're about to do right now I'm about to show you how I did that on the computer so that way you guys know and then I'm gonna try to test this out again on my phone to see if I still get that same overload or if it's just straight a uh, straight laptop computer gooseneck cardioid microphone so let's get into that right now so one thing that will help you guys out in figuring out the mic levels for your five fine mic is of course to uh, have some headphones you can use of course I'm using my old Sony MDR 10 RBTs plug them into your computer as well and you can use it to listen into the audio that's coming from your literal mini mic now first uh, uh, you know observation is it is teeny so you won't have to worry about space would I have liked it to be a little bigger yes I would have but this is the size that you get for the mic and again as I said it plugged in via USB so I have mine plugged in right now so if we will as we see over here so in order to get this screen to come up sound what you want to do is let me exit out of it you want to come down here and click on your little speaker on your sound you want to right click that and then click on sounds so once you click on sounds this screen pops up right here again so in order to get to where I was let's bring this a little more center <clears throat> bring this a little more center we want to click on playback you're gonna see speakers headphones on your phone it should be enabled or on your <laughs> laptop or computer it should be enabled of course and working you go to recordings so I renamed mine Fifine, so that way I can easily find it. But in order to play around with the specific settings of the Fifine, you want to click on it, go to Properties. Once you go to Properties, it allows you to change the name, of course, and then you're going to see it called the USB PNP or Plug and Play Audio Device, and then you can check Listen, and then this is the way you check Listen to this device in order to use your headphones to actually hear the feedback coming from the mic. So once you click on that, your headphones will be enabled to allow you to listen to the audio coming from the fine fine gooseneck mic and then here is where you can adjust the level so mine's adjusted at 60 right now I'm probably gonna play with it a little more since I have not officially tried it yet so I'm going to use that right now to test out just how low or how high this mic needs to be to get a good tune to see if I can use this for my setup so right now I'm at 60, we'll see how it goes later, but that's where I'm at in, front of, in terms of 60. And then that's all you really have to do is just, you know, all you're doing is adjusting the microphone levels. Now out the box this thing was at 93, so the minute you said something, that's why I said I had that immediate overload on my phone. So now I'm gonna try it again, now that I've loaded to 60 to see what kind of feedback I get now. And of course I will give you both audio from the OnePlus, and then I'm gonna give you audio from this cardioid mic. Testing, testing, this is audio at 50%. Testing, testing, audio at 50% of the Fi Fine mic. 
Testing, testing. This is 75% of the mic. Testing, testing at 75%. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing. This is the OnePlus 7 Pro onboard mics. This is my voice. How does it sound compared to Fifine? So, hopefully you guys are able to see and hear the difference for the mics. I hope to be able to use this. If I can't, it's this. Uh, I will be able to use it for like my laptop or computer if I decide to do any, you know, webcamming or, you know, gameplay. You know, of course, I would have to get a new laptop because this thing is old and not ready for that. But this mic, of course, can be used for any type of speaking that you're going to try to do from your computer, whether it's Skype, again, gameplay, webcamming, so conference calls, uh, you know live chats live streaming all that fun stuff you can use this mic for that and you should get very crisp audio out of it you just it's all dependent of course on your settings that you use and have for the mic so I hope you guys are able to appreciate that this is the little gooseneck mic right here as you see it's literally this small and of course you can bend it in any direction you want to this runs for 20 bucks on Amazon of course links are down in the description so Check it out if you guys like. It does come with this little mic guard right here as well. Maybe audio will be different if you don't have it on it. So of course I'm a, I pop, you know, I, I showed you that as well. And again, this is Fifine. Shout out to them for the for sending this out so that way we could actually try it out in house. Wish I had a slightly better setup, but as long as you got a computer that allows you to configure your microphone, you should be good to go. So your boy Versatile signing out, and until the next video. Wait for it.